All right, we are live. Perfect. We're live. We're just going to copy this stuff right here. We're just going to copy this stuff right here. We're just going to copy this stuff right here. Perfect. So got the tweet out. We got the word out. We're live streaming. We're doing our thing. Let's just hang on out. Let everyone hop on in. Let's see what's going on. We're just enjoying ourselves. Here he ain't. I'm a bank. Hey, Travis, what's up? We're all in here. We're all in here. I love it. Good entertainment on hot words. <laughs> Crabs out, guns out. What's up? What's up? What's up? Chives now, eh? <laughs> I'm liking this. <laughs> yo, we're in this. We're in this. Okay, so essentially, I apologize. I know yesterday I was saying like, yo, we're going to play uh, Titan Mill, but honestly, updated uh updated the sideboard guides on the patreon and i was a little inspired i kind of just want to play some demir mill so i am honestly just super ready right now i'm honestly super super ready uh but i don't think my sideboard is ready for me what is going on what am i missing right now why are both of my plague engineers gone what the hell is going on right now? Hold on, everyone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Plague Engineer. Sorry, I'm just messing with my sideboard while everyone's in this. All right, we're just going to hop on in right now. Let's just switch over the stream window to the in-game. So this is where we're at. Um, I don't know why my Plague Engineers were gone, but I believe this is the... Um, a... Okay, that sounds good. Sounds good. Send me that message. Send me that message. Um, so let me just, okay, for some reason, I don't think it's, give me one, let me just double check, this is the actual sideboard I want to use, Dispel, Aethergust, Fatal Push, Rebuild, uh, this should be Set Adrift, there you go. That's all I was wondering, I'm like, I'm not playing Extra Bait, hello? Okay, so, YouTube, what's up? What's everyone up to right now? Let me give a, let me get some quick thoughts before we hop on into the games. Quick talks, what's going on? How's everyone? Some of you coming off work. I'm coming off work myself. I got a clean shower and I got a snack. I got some water beside me. Um, what's going on? Give me a quick heller. Let me know if everyone is doing all right. And we will hop right in. That is going to be the goal here. <laughs> drop one dispute for Dead of Winter. I wouldn't drop a dispute for Dead of Winter. Um, I want to try Plague Engineers, but if I was to change anything in this list, it would be I would drop a Plague Engineer for Dead of Winter. But like I said, on my Patreon, we're trying out we're trying out Plagues. But wait, Dead of Winter wouldn't be good in this deck anyway. Like the the amount of Snowlands we have, like we only have like six Snowlands. Yeah, Dead of Winter wouldn't even be that great in Saltai. Then we have some conver yeah. Then we can have a conversation. All right, so let, let's hop right in. Let's hop into the constructed league here. Demir Malai Coria, Modern League. Buenos noches desde España. I hope I said that right. What's up, Rodriguez? Uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how Eliminate works out. Yeah, me too, honestly. Let, let's see how this works out. I know it's only one Eliminate. It's it's only one. But I was saying in my sideboard guide, like, I, I don't have any data with Eliminate. And the only data I have to go off of is Blitz's data, where he played it in the challenge and he posted on the discord and he said it was super medium so i'm like okay super medium feels like kind of like main board removal spells and like kind of stuff like that so it's worth playing it's just not super hot okay so i'm like all right let's test one and if we find that okay maybe planes work as planeswalkers are coming on coming out whatever we'll play like one in the sideboard there's always room for it so let's see let's see what happens with it right now we're trying to lean in a little heavier against the tribal strategies humans and specifically goblins um, as a continuous effect. So, um, coming off work, I'm on vacation, and it's half past 11 in Sweden. You are right about Demir and Dead of Winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and especially just because Plague Engineer has that continuous effect, whereas, like, Dead of Winter is, like, a one-and-done 
type of thing. Um, Plague Engineer, it'll always be there on the battlefield until they get rid of it. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, why not? We'll keep it. It's always be there. Let's see how this works. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm excited, though. Uh, maybe meta specific, you want to run more. That's what I mean. I think, like, yo, if decks like Blue Eye Control and Jund see a bigger rise, like, we've had metas like that before, honestly. We really have. And so if metas like that come back, like, 100%, Eliminate becomes so much better. You know what I mean? Like, the more, like, the worse Fatal Push becomes, the worse that, uh, the better that Eliminate becomes. Because right now we're playing three main board Fatal Push, right? That's just, like, a, uh, Gregors. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you, from Poland. Um, so Fatal Push, like, main board Fatal Pushes are, like, a must right now. I, I wouldn't play below two at all. So the worse those become, like if if we can shift into a meta where like yo we don't have to play like three main board fatal push, we're playing like maybe two, then yo eliminate becomes a lot better because then we start thinking about okay maybe the creatures a little bit bigger, like there's more planeswalkers, games are a little slower, so that's what we want to think about um, in terms of that. So I want to start punishing them honestly off the rip here, like off the rip. So we're going to play this because honestly, next next game in game two, um, Crab Glimpse Orb, not to, yeah. Here, like I'm going to side out orbs on, I like, you know, I'm already, you know, fingers crossed, knock on wood, we're going to win this game. We're going to be placed back on the draw. I don't like orbs on the draw, so I'm going to take them out anyway. So I'm, yeah, there you go. So they're not even going to play into it. I'm going to just try and punish them as much as possible here. Hey, Kumbak, what's up? What's up? What's up? So Kumbak um what is it I, i'll try and do my best here and and record so we've won the mulligan round one against titan i don't know i'll, I'll try my best to record my stuff one thing i have to add though kumbak is um i did um do a patreon league with sultai mill um and i ended up doing pretty well so let's see let's do this i ended up doing pretty well i just i just haven't gone around to like adding it to the list so I got to remember to do that. I got to remember to do that. But that was from like last week, Monday. Ooh, Clothis. That's spicy. They got a Clothis. That's spicy. What is that, bro? That is spicy. Ooh. 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. That's like... That's so good. Yo, can I get some hype in chat for that fantastic surgical? Ooh. This man got murked. Okay, so he's got a value one of Clothis. And that's it. This dude's dead. He has no win condition. What does he win with? Why is he praying Dryad of the Elysian Grove with no Valakit? Chat, I'm, ex I'm confused. I'm confused. How does our opponent win? I'm confused. I'm so lost. I'm like woefully lost right now. I don't understand. I think, I think, okay. Our opponent has, I think our opponent has tilted out. They have so many lands in hand. Their, their land, their hand is a bunch of, their hand is a bunch of lands, but they've just given up. I mean, they have to. Ghost Court is actually really good. No, no, no. If we're playing, if you're playing Titan, hundred percent, you're playing one to two Ghost Quarters. It's it's just so much value. It's honestly so much value. You have to. Sand Tramp. Everyone just jamming cloth is bro. This dude's dead, man. This dude's like super dead. Okay, I was just gonna say like, give up. Like this man didn't play a land last turn. Like, okay. Um. So I gotta do my due diligence, everyone. Hold on. I I literally was just talking about how we updated the sideboard guide. So I'm not gonna. I refuse to make stuff up. We're just gonna. We're gonna follow the Patreon sideboard guide here by leaving the league and rebuilding his deck. So I gotta, you know, talk the talk here. So against Amulet, what are we taking out? We're taking out Search for Iskanta, one Ensnaring Bridge, one Crypt Incursion, and the Echoing Truth. We're bringing in 
Aether Gus and Ashiok Dream Renders. I could see potentially bringing him Nightmare Weaver just to steal creatures, but like it's probably like ah, no, we're, our main board plan's like good enough, man. Um, you could actually considering. You know what? Let's get spicy. Honestly, let's get spicy. Let's remove one Fatal Push. Play an Ashiok Dream Render. Let's do something fun for chat. So the sideboard guide kind of stops it at uh, Ashiok and Fatal Push. Like, this is the switch you really don't want to make. Just because, like, especially now, the Titan decks are playing cards like Fierce Empaths. So you, you have more targets for your removal. So it's not as bad. Um... But we're doing it for the sake of entertainment. Uh, would not Field of Ruin be better as they have all the mana enough? Actually, a lot of the times they are surprisingly tapped out. You actually don't want to be using two mana more often than not. The, the Amulet Titan deck is really just a game of numbers. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a deck of numbers most of the time. So yes, they do usually have... But sometimes it's just like, yo, you need to play Titan, get a land, and that one land needs to be able to untap and destroy a land. Like, think about it. Your Titan searches up, like, two lands. You want to make sure you're not returning lands anymore um, so that you can just, like, play Ghost Quarters and, you know, kind of go from there. Uh, drop Manic to Kling. I just don't like Manic Scribe. I don't like that card, like, at all. Like, I try every time I try it, I hate it more. Every time I try a scrub, I, I hate it so much more. I just think there's so many better options. Like I'd rat like it's like okay, Manic Scribe's a blocker. But then why not just play removal? And then like Manic Scribe's good against Leyline of Sanctity. Uh okay, that's probably your best argument. But then Leyline of Sanctity right now is not that prevalent in the meta. And then Le and then Manic Scribe's good against control. Mm, okay, our control matchup's good enough anyway. I don't know why we're playing... Like, we could just play Cling to Dust, and that's much better, in my opinion. I'm like... Yeah, I'm just super low on it. It's not It's not for me. Uh, I don't think our opponent knows how to play Amulet Titan. What was that whole sequence? Why did they return... Why don't they keep the Bounce Land? Is that their... Okay... That was so bad. Okay, well, I'm just going to eliminate this. I'm not playing Glimpse the Unthinkable. You know why? Our opponent has demonstrated to me that they care more about the Sakura Tribe Elder than the lands they have. Like, I'm just going to kill this. Our opponent has demonstrated to me that they really want this to resolve, so goodbye. You think it's popular right now? I have I have not played against Ad Nauseum in, like, weeks. On MTGO, anyway. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's in concept. So, Johan, the way you want to think about it, like, in concept, they have a lot of mana. But, like, the Ghost Quarters is realistically in there to beat Tron. And sometimes you just don't have the ability to just play a bounce land to tempo yourself out and then just kind of, like, like slow yourself down even more. I don't know. I just don't think you have that ability. Okay, so they have three. Okay, so they're going to search their library for um, a Titan here. Kind of wish I had that uh, that thing, but all right. Well, we're going to do this in that case. Just balls to the wall here, man. Balls to the wall. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, what have we gotten rid of so far? Like, can they just insta-win? Have we gotten rid of the Boros Garrison and the Ghoul Turf? Like, what's their chance of, like, really just insta-winning here? Probably pretty low, honestly. So, I'm pretty happy with just doing this. And now we've gotten rid of even the Vesuva and the Slayer Stronghold. So, oh, so they can't even give it haste. Okay, so I've stopped that much. Alright, so they can't even give it haste. Um, that's gone from them. They're just going to be searching the library and kind of doing stuff from there. Um, it sucks that we're not really going to be able to punish them. Didn't Ad Nauseam just get something? You're, are you talking about the Tutor? Like Grim Tutor? I, don't, I think Grim Tutor is... Uh, no, I don't think, I don't think Ad Nauseam wants Grim Tutor. It's not Legacy. Look, challenge result, Ad Nauseam is more popular. 
I think people just aren't ready for ad nauseum. Like, ad nauseum is just one of those... De- ad nauseum is, like, to me, it's like Amulet Titan. Like, it's one of those decks that, like, if you're a good pilot, you've been playing it for a while, like, you're going to win, like, a lot. I think it's just, like, a bunch of people taking advantage of it. Like, like taking advantage of people not being able to play it or, like... Like, they're just recognizing that ad nauseum can beat, like, conspicuous snoop or humans or burn. Like, mono red blitz is around. Conspicuous snoop is a damage-based combo. Um, like, they're just recognizing that they can play strategies that don't require... Like, they can get around these damage-based strategies. Huh. Sick. No lands to find. Sick. Good for you. Good for you. Oh my god. Is this game over? Is this game over? Uh, Dream Runner sounds perfect. All right, free wins, free wins. Oh man, nice and easy streams. One for a dream is still alive. One for a dream is still alive. Hey, we got 16 viewers. Thank you everyone finally joining me on the YouTube stream. I appreciate it. We may never get the numbers that we do on Twitch, but that's okay. YouTube streams are all about content, it's all about fun. Twitch is all about getting the viewers in, but. Hey, Yahtzee, no, we, we literally just got a free win against Amulet. It, we're literally game one. We're playing some Demir. Just got a free win. Like, Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I, I, that's what I was saying. Like, I, I think it's too slow. I, I, I think it's too slow as well. I think it's too slow as well. Seed. Seed. Um, we won one lost. Okay, so game two. Yeah, this hand's fun. This hand could be really good or really bad. I don't know. Like, what am I expecting in this meta? I'm gonna need a translation on that. Are you are you asking me? Why I'm not playing Mind Funeral? Is that what you're asking me right now? Seven cards. All right, whatever. We'll keep it. You asked me why I'm not playing my a Mind Funeral, Rodriguez. I face an ad nauseum and even uh, and even do I know the theory about it? My OP just had me in two games straight. It came down to not knowing how to beat them. Opponent knowing what he was okay. Um, On your on my website, not with the link. No, I couldn't find a way to do it with the link. It would need to like I would just I could essentially put the link on the website and just create a page and be like, oh, everyone, click this link for the thing. It's just like it's just not the most like visually appealing thing, if you know what I mean. Um, play this. We can play top lines later. It's better we just get. So he just had you. So Johan, you're saying like you just weren't familiar with the matchup, so he just beat you like two games straight. Ad nauseum can be a tough matchup to uh, kind of understand. It, it can be pretty tough to understand. Okay. goblins and this is interesting goblins right now like they're playing putrid goblin which is interesting transit to why don't you use sphinx's tutelage or mind funeral i believe okay sphinx's tutelage or mind funeral okay sphinx's tutelage i don't think is playable as as a win condition in modern um i think it's just too slow unless you really build into it like you have to play like blue white control or something 
But then if you're playing blue-white control, you just have better win conditions anyway. Uh, Mind Funeral? I think Mind Funeral comes in and out. Um, personally, not... I. In general, I haven't been too high on the card, but I do recognize that there are times when um, there are times when the uh, okay when the card is good when the meta has generally a low land count. Um, I wish you all the best. Uh, new Mil Teferi's Tutelage, yeah, Teferi's Tutelage does look cool. Teferi's Tutelage does look cool. Okay, they're going to generate infinite mana. I just want to see them have it here. Um, but miss my window, that's fair. It's it's a tough matchup. Like, yeah, I think it's you you play it a couple times and like you'll understand what's going on. Um just, you just got to play it um over and over again. Okay, so they're going to ringleader, that's fine. All right, as long as they don't hit with this ringleader, I guess. Um we got prospector and putrid goblin and a metallic mimic. Oh, they got a bunch, actually. What am I saying? Okay. So they've they've kind of, quote-unquote, demonstrated their loop. There is a lot of variance. There is a lot of variance with it. Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Goddamn. Um... Yeah, even at ten, it's like you're you're still a mana down. I don't know. It's it's weird. Yeah, even at ten, like you're a mana down. It's weird. What is that? And put that card on top of it. Okay. So they're putting a card on top of their library right now. Need to slam some discontinuity Ashiox to landlock them, then surgical some lands. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the way to maximize on it. Pashlik Mons. All right, you got. Oh, I messed up. Oh no, he did that on his upkeep. I messed up. Oh no 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 no. Oh damn! I didn't even realize what up. I didn't even realize what stage we were in. That's a problem. Yeah, now now he's won. Now I messed up. I completely did not realize that was on his upkeep. We could have won here. Oh, I messed up. That was a punt. That was a punt. I thought I thought he did that on his main. Oh my god. We we could have prevented this completely. I could have prevented this completely, like gone on to like Cobru or something, like Oh my god. Oh my god, that was bad. Damn it. He has Pastic Mons, he has infinite mana. Infinite mana, infinite damage. Fuck, I messed up. Goddamn. That's me not paying attention. I put a stop there too. Okay, combo goblins. Fuck, man. Come on, Shaf. Okay, combo goblins. Uh, so Cobrus are out. Um, SFA is out. Um, orbs are out. We're bringing in Aether Gus, Fatal Push. Plague Engineers, Damnation. Submit. <sighs> yeah, there's no there's no punt bot on YouTube, but that, that was a punt. That was bad. That was super preventable. That was bad. I didn't even realize what they were doing. I was just like, oh, they'll put it on top of their library. Whatever. This is their main phase. I thought I literally thought. I literally thought that was the card they drew. I thought I thought they we already passed their draw step. They drew that card and was like, all right, next turn they're going to win. God damn. You think I can go 21 lands thanks to what Blitz said? I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep this. It has echoing truth. I'll keep this. I'm literally keeping this off the base of echoing truth. Just, like, these three cards are almost good enough by themselves. So I'm relying on a lot here. Um, 
plan moves forward. The plan moves forward. You can play Hedron Crab later. Plan moves forward. Let's do this. Snoop's in here. I like this. I'm not searching the library at all. I mean, they could. Always hold out for it, I guess. Always playing 21? Snoop. That's a problem. Okay. I was like, don't just win here. Um, hold on. Okay, if they have Snoop down, they can really just win at any point. So I do want to be careful here. I'll bounce the hmm. I'll hmm. I'll bounce this now. To answer World Spine Worm, I keep running it in green, white, and red, green decks. Kazmina's transmutation. What was what does that do? What does Kazmina's transmutation do? Transmutation do. To stop World Spine Worm. But World Spine Worm isn't even a problem. <laughs> To be honest, like, it's kind of like Nexus of Fate, where, like, well, Nexus of Fate, you can actually cast and, like, you can win with it, but, like, it only shuffles itself in. Like, when was World Spine Worm technically ever a problem? You know what I mean? Like, all right, opponent, fetch. Make this easy for me. I'm already, like, super upset with myself that I already messed this game up. Could have had a game one there. That was bad. Uh, so... Combo gobs, we lost, and they were on the pull. Uh, we were on the draw. Um, one, and then on two here, we're on the play. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can force a game three as well. Well, if we force the game three, we're going to be on the draw, but <sighs> let's see what they do. So they'll play, okay. So they can generate three. Give it to Suki. Bolt on me, All right, so they're not going to search the library. Surgical's good. Surgical's super good here. Okay. Um, just need to grab the combo pieces. Surgical's pretty good here. Okay. See what I can find. Uh, surgical snoop. Yeah, that's probably pretty logical. Um, I mean, that's... Uh, Snoop's not a problem to me, though. Okay, let me see if I find a surgical. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I, f I find another surgical. The problem with Snoop, though, is like Snoop isn't necessarily a problem because they have to cast Snoop and then... Like, what if I just mill over Kiki Jiki? Then Snoop doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I have to get rid of like Grum Gully. That's what I need to get rid of. Let's see what I can find. I need to get rid of Grum Gully. If I don't find either of what I want, I'll surgical snoop, but. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could also do that. Oh, boiled. Jesus Christ, I even grabbed some some of that. Okay, so we got rid of the Kiki Jiki. 
we can hopefully just hope they don't have another one. So now I think I'm actually, yeah, I'm more on the plan of like potentially just waiting for them to sack their persist creature. So potentially we just, they have Kiki in there. We can potentially just hope they don't have um, something else. And then now, as long as we can get rid of the combo, there you go. So as long as we can, they have two Kiki. All right. Well, I mean, we're almost there. Like, look, there we're gonna be able to stop this combo dead in his tracks right here. So in response to the persist trigger, uh, surgical the putrid goblins. Perfect. So we're gonna be able to stop the combo here. Okay. And then, like, yeah, we we follow up like literally glimpse crypt. So, uh, yeah, run it back. Okay. Two Kiki is this. Um, yeah, because, I mean, okay, like, Snoop has that value of, like, just being able to, like, copy the top creature. Like, it has that value, but... Okay, so we're on the draw. It has that value, but, like, as long as we can stop Kiki, generally, like, if we find one of our value pieces, like, um, Plague Engineer or Crypt Incursion, like, we can generally just oust them here. Oh, oh this hand's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping this. Oh, this hand's disgusting. This hand is nasty. This hand is nasty. In this matchup, the persecution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, this hand is nasty. They don't even have a one drop. Oh my god, they don't even have a one drop. I'm burning visions here, by the way. I'm burning visions because I need to find that third land. Oh, this hand's disgusting. Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, yeah, I mean, they know we don't have our archive trap, so this is disgusting right now. Snoop is fine. I need to find a land. Oh, there you go, there's there's the land. There's the land I'm looking for. Um, at this point, we're gonna eliminate. Yeah, I'm going to eliminate and then surgical the snoop. We know they're drawing unclaimed territory. So we want them to draw unclaimed territory. I'll surgical snoop so I just don't have to worry about this nonsense. Surgical the snoop. We're so far ahead. If we can stop whatever they're playing, we're so far ahead. Okay, so they have pieces of the combo here. They could play putrid goblins. They have matron to tutor. Yeah, so this is their hand right now. Um... Hold on. Since I'm actually trying to get better at magic right now. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's like snip this real quick here. Just keep a picture of this. There you go. And just like leave this over here. All right, copies of Snoop are gone. What do they board in? I mean, boils, duresses, maybe collector brutalities. Like, I'm I'm not too concerned, honestly. There's a, they're, they're a combo deck that relies on the fact that their main board plan just has to be good enough. Like, okay, what are you looking for, my dude? So whatever they're going to get, Skirk Prospector, fine. They're going to put that on top. So they can't play Skirk Prospector now. Because now I'm just going to slam this. Now they cannot play Skirk Prospector. Um, I don't want to get got by Boil as much right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my double my double black for my Damnation. Play Plague Engineer. If they top deck Boil or whatever, I'm just going to name Goblin. And now their Skirk Prospector is dead. Let's go. This is where you stabilize. This is where you stabilize. Oh, yes. Let's go. What what do you got? What do you got? What is your what is your skirt prospector got? What is your skirt prospector got? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I love this. I love this. We know what they're drawing. Like their hand. Look at their hand. Look at their hand right here. 
We knew exactly what they were drawing. They played the Harbinger. They had they have the unclaimed. They had the unclaimed. They got the Harbinger. We knew exactly what they drew. Their hands weak. Their hands weak. This matron's about to die. This matron's about to die. They're gonna tutor for something, and we're gonna aether gust it. We're gonna aether gust it. No, they drew the land. What do you mean? How was land shuffled? To they played it. No, they played it right here. There's the unclaimed. Uh, crater makers a removal spell. They do. See, there you go. Crater makers a removal spell. All right, so there they put that on top. We're just gonna nope, go away. Cause I want my cards. I want my cards. Put that back on top, my dude. Show game log. Come creative on top of their library. Okay, so we're gonna burn this because I need to find a mill spell now. Oh man, Eduardo Lerma? No, I'm not double streaming. I'm simply just streaming to YouTube. I'm back. Uh, so World Spine is a problem with Luca Domri. I uh, get back. Oh, this is over. Oh my God, this game's over. This game is so over. It hurts. This hurts me to do. This game is so over. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't think I still don't think World Spine's a problem. Oh my god. This is over. I literally do not care about his crater maker. His crater maker is gonna come down and die. Oh my god, his crater maker is gonna come down and die. Nothing in his hand works. Nothing in his hand works. Nothing in his hand works. Name Lurgoyf. <laughs> Stop. This man said name Lurgoyf. All right, man. You're just top decking here. Oh, Crypt is so good too. All right, now I just need lands and check it out. Of check it out, team. We're swinging in with some carriers. We're swinging in with some carriers. Let's go. Oh, this is so good. I love this. All right. Yup. Come on. I, this isn't going to last forever. I need some lands. I need some lands. All right. We have lethal next turn. We have lethal next turn. Oh, no way. Come on. Come on. If I, if I get to win... Uh, why would you leave the crab back? Boost the more. <laughs> Come on, guys. If you have not yet leaved a, left a like on the stream, you need to like the stream right now. I should. There's, to, there's 20 people on this stream. I need to see 20 likes on there just for that win against Goblins. I know. I know I misplayed game one, but come on. Come on. That one was insane. Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good. Oh my god, I need to see some likes on the stream, bro. I love it. We got eight likes on the stream. I love it. I love it. Just for that win. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Play good, Jadir. Oh man, what a card. What a card. So good, so good. As as an ex-humans player, oh man, I, I still remember the day when it was printed. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, I just built humans, didn't I? I built humans for like like two months ago, and I was just chilling. I was like, yo, this is a cool deck, man. This is like fair, modern. This is like the best tribal strategy in the world. 
You gotta attack with. <laughs> I should have. I should have. I apologize. That if if you don't take my misplay as a transgression, that was definitely a transgression. Not attacking with the crab. Let's run it. Not attacking with crab was 110 percent was a mistake on my end. That was hype. I like it. 11 likes on the stream. I like it. Thank you. Let's get some dubs, man. Let's get some dubs. That was great, man. That was good. All right, let's keep the play tight. I keep, uh, keep the play tight. I was not expecting certain things for our opponent. Who knows? Maybe we would have gone one and two in that whole kind of round two. If, like, maybe I could have won game one, wouldn't have won the other rounds. I would have been surprised if I didn't win the other rounds, considering our post board. But uh, we did it, man. We <sighs> top deck like gods. Let me tell you that. We top deck like gods. That was insane. No one four gang today. No, no, no. We we one four gang is for Twitch. We left that behind in Twitch. We make we make better moves on YouTube. We make better moves. Ooh, okay, okay. So, well, they mulled a five. To be fair, we're playing against um the hammer deck, but they did mulled a five. So that means our removal is gonna line up a little better. They they generally just right now, right now they have a lower threat density right now. So hopefully this Mesmeric Orb can keep us there. We just need to draw some mill spells, some removal. Eventually, when this Visions turns back on, then we can turn the tempo back. Because even with removal, we're generally behind in this matchup. Watsy. Hammer times. Watsy pushing tribal. We need a crab lord so we can play a crab. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all savages. Y'all savages out here. Colossus Hammer. Oh my god. Yeah, whatever, man. You can do whatever you want with Colossus Hammer. Well, I'm keeping both my removal spells up. Let me tell you that. I don't care about this, actually, honestly. They could they could bring in Colossus Hammer and do whatever the hell they want with it. Because I'm going to just remove Colossus Hammer in response to whatever the hell they're trying to do, so. Mm, pretty sure I just counter this. Because I don't want them searching their library for extra equipment. Like, they have one Colossus Hammer, let's keep it to that. One Colossus Hammer is more than enough. All right, now they're top decking. Um, if we can find cling to dust, we're going to be able to start accruing some card advantage and some card draw through that. Um, hopefully, anyway, I don't know. Those are all, these are all fantastic spells that we cannot be losing right now. Uh, let's play this top. So Glimpse is good though. Glimpse, that's a uh, some forward movement right there. Glimpse is a good card. Glimpse is a good card. This is a good card. I, I'm really hesitant to burn this Visions too, but we'll see how desperate we get here. Okay, good. Milling over creatures, that's exactly what I want. Milling over these creatures. Really do not want to lose that instant speed. Okay, they're drawing. They're using up their lands. They are drawing. More cards in their graveyard. You'd love to see it. I actually kind of want... Okay, I was going to say, I actually kind of want them to tap one more, uh, one more, one more land there, even if it's to play a creature. That's some removal right there that we're losing. All right. Come on, opponent. I need you to do... I need you to do something or nothing. I don't know. Something or nothing. Okay, they have 20 cards. They have 20 cards. Or 19 cards. Okay, there are 19 cards. They're doing stuff. They're doing stuff and things. Okay, I kind of rate that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we can afford to take some damage here. Sword of Fire and Ice. Ooh, okay. Sword of Fire and Ice. That is that. Okay. Um, they are gonna untap, and we're gonna be able to draw six cards though. We're drawing six cards on on untap. So, 
We're not gonna play. We're not casting glimpse, not at all. Um, yeah, we're not casting glimpse at all. We do not need to. I think just maximize the amount of mana I have. These two are gonna go to the draw spells. Let them untap first. Okay. Okay. Before they draw, and they potentially just have more options and ways out or whatever the hell. Damn, they got a sword and that. Bro, stop. Just stop. 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 Stop that. <laughs> this is so much desperation. I love it. This is so much desperation. They like need they like need to play at instant speed. This is like true magic right here. Like a magic player is like desperation to play at instant speed right here. That's awful. Give me a removal spell. Wow. Oh my god. I'm about to take 15. Wow. Okay. All right. Oh my god. I'm about to draw land. I'm about to draw land. Oh my god. Okay, one, two, three. I don't think I can afford to lose any more life, but it doesn't really matter. Like, honestly, you gotta stop drawing lands here. I don't even want to play Sir Tris, can't I? I just want to like mill them and do this. All right, I mean, we should be good behind Ensnaring Bridge here. I don't think this deck has a main board answer to Ensnaring Bridge. So that's why I was like, all right, as long as we don't die this turn, we should be good. I, I don't think this deck has a main board answer to Ensnaring Bridge. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Ensnaring Bridge isn't. It's hardly a playable magic card in modern right now. So, I don't know. Okay. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, this big brain magic right here. Are you freaking kidding me? This is why I lose? They're about to deal three and then two to me. This game. Like, y'all see my face right now? I feel so disrespected. I feel so disrespected by this by, by the shuffler right now. I up and drew six six damn cards. Five of them were lands. How many removal spells do I need to play? Like I I, I oh my god, whatever. Alright, 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 alright. Trash. Trash. Straight trash. Trash, bro. Like trash. Honestly, even Plague Engineer. Okay, hold on.
so feel so damn disrespected right now. Like that that was just stupid. <sighs> Trash, bro. Okay, uh Hammer Time MTG Modern. What does this deck even look like right now? Can someone can someone give me like a deck list for this? Like what are the subtypes of the creatures right now? Okay, fervent champions a what? What? This is not so what do I name? Like core? Core is the name, right? Oh, like human or core. Yeah, I don't know. It's like I can name human. Core is just as good. I don't know. I, I brought in Plague Engineer just in case. Are you hey, what's up? Do they have trample or could engineer be a thing? I don't they have like double strike. That's the problem. It's not even trample, it's double strike. That's the problem. Like engineer, I'm playing engineer. Um, am I going to do Pioneer Mill? Um, I don't know. I, I haven't been a fan of what Pioneer has to offer in terms of mill so far. So I think, uh, I think Pioneer Mill is going to have to be on the back burner. All right. Shuffler is really messing with us here. Uh, I'll get, I'll post the link in a second. Give me one second. As we're playing Hammer Time. Uh, so game one was a loss on the, pl on the play. It was a loss on the play, correct? Um, and then game two. We're on the play. All right. Shuffler's really going to do this to us right now. Wow. Excellent. It's the best day of my life right now. This is so amazing. This is I cannot even believe how fantastic my luck is right now. This is so good. Like, we... Our opponent won on a mall to five. Our opponent won on a mall to freaking five. Like, how stupid is that, man? Like, like how dumb was that? Like, really? Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say, man. All right, if I don't find a black source next turn, I'm conceding. Watching at work. Time to go to sleep. Thank you, Gregoris. Thank you, thank you. Um, if I don't find a black source next next turn, I'm conceding. Like, ugh, it's, this shit sucks, man. <sighs> so trash. Uh, yo, for whoever was asking for the list, there you go. It should also be in the description of the stream. It should also be available in the description. trash i i can't win this i can't win this he probably has the the magnet thing and i'm about to loot yeah all right i guess we play it out like i'm so mad man that's like that last game was so tilting like Hey, Dr. OD, thank you for joining me, man. That last game was so damn tilting, like... <sighs> we're doing so good this league. We were, we were doing fantastic this league. And this is how it ends up. This is how it ends up. They found the... They had a red source. They had a red source. I think that was the key to this. Okay, GG. Yeah, I got nothing. That's game. Um, a friend of mine said about your channel, indeed, you are incredible. We'll wait on the Pioneer one list. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we, I, I'm definitely waiting on a good Pioneer mill deck as well. Um, but I'm definitely off of it for a little bit while I, while everything shakes up. While everything shakes up. Uh, but just wanted to let everyone know, um, I will not be streaming this Sunday. Um, I will be unavailable this weekend. So... Um, I'm going to try and do this stream. And then what I'm going to try and do is Enrico in the, um, mill discord, he's going to give me his witch mom mill primer. I will be posting that as one of the articles for this week. I will also, for you non patrons out there, I will be doing a, a, a Sultai mill sideboard guide for the top six to seven decks of the current modern meta. That is going to be another article you're going to get this week. So trying to, trying to make up 
for the lack of streams and games happening this week. We're going to do a double article week. Uh, should be fun. Um, well. Mulda 4, Mulda 4, and our opponent's playing Yorian? Oh my god. Uh, Mulda 4 and our opponent's playing Yorian. We're all, we already lost, like, we, we don't even have a 7. We've already lost, like, so much value here. There's already so much value we've lost here. But alright, we're just gonna have to hope and pray here. Hope and pray we draw what we need at the right intervals. Make sure they don't get to 3. That's what's going to come up. And then next week, I'll be back next week on the Sunday streams. I will be next week. Next week, so that's going to be... Yo, what? July the 10th? What's Saturday next week? Someone let me know. What's Saturday next week? Not this Saturday. What's the well, week after? What is Saturday? Whatever that Saturday is, I will be uh, streaming the Modern Challenge on Twitch. Oh my god, fuck, of course. Like, of, of course, of course that's his whole damn hand. Okay, alright. The 11th, alright, that's Saturday, I will be streaming the Modern Challenge on Twitch. Um, do I personally care about if I get stream site? Not that much, it's gonna be my first ever Modern Challenge, I don't... I, I don't hope to top eight. I don't hope to do anything. If I get there, sure. Open to just play some sweet games. And then maybe in the future, if we start to take it a little bit more seriously, I'll put on a delay. But so look out for that next Saturday. And so there will, will not be a Sunday stream. That will essentially replace the Sunday stream for that week. Um... You know what? I'm just gonna go to the next game. This isn't like we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Like I'm so far behind. I'm so damn far behind. All right. Um. So surgical's out. Cobra's in. SFA's fine. Crypt incursions are bad. Bring these in. Dispel. Mystical seems fine. Start like shaving stuff. I guess like. Um, maybe lose like one push. I don't know. Um, just run it like that and see how that works. Yeah, I think we'll run it like this and see how it works. Yeah. It's nice to see Yorian still being played though. It's nice to see Yorian decks like still like running around. Okay, finally. All right, get some, get a playable hand. Get a damn playable hand. All right, all right. So our opponent probably doesn't even know what we're playing. Chances are we didn't really reveal much, to be fair. Like we didn't, we multi four didn't play a single mill spell. So, uh, what's up? What's up? Here we are. Like they could have made concession, like, like ideas, like, um, Define nice. <laughs> fair point, fair point. It might not be that nice. Fair point, fair point. Fair point. Um, Alright, let's mill them out. Uh, no, not at all. Not at all. I think, like, modern players are generally, like, they're, they're a little too lazy to pay the cost. But, like, they, they would rather just play, like, regular control because there isn't, like that much of a benefit whereas like yo before it was like yo when this card came down on five it was the bee's knees it was the bee's knees it drew you like usually two to three cards it was a five mana five five drew you two cards that's pretty good five mana five five with flying and drew you two cards that's a pretty solid control card if you think about it and i say drew you two cards because it would like bounce um like that land enchantment or like astrolabes and stuff like it's pretty solid 
It's pretty solid. Yeah, whatever, man. That's deep, man. Springleaf drum? The hell is Springleaf drum doing in this? Like, Springleaf drum. I haven't seen this card since, man, since I played like Popper Affinity or something. Like, what the hell is Springleaf drum doing in this meta? Come on, opponent, force it. All right, there you go. All right. A resolved Miss Miracorb is a good time. It's a good time. Although now we're kind of up, like we do have three counter spells and we'd love to hold them up, but that's nah, fine. Not the biggest problem. And now they got to be a little bit more reactive against them. That's a top deck land, by the way. They did not play a land last turn. That is a top deck land. Rain, rain, rain. Bruh. All right. All right, pass through. We 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 have. There's a lot to like here. We got a dispel. We got a mystical dispute. Probably like draw off Thraven. Um. I actually kind of rate just countering this. Um. Yeah. Just so they don't draw a card. Yeah, just so they don't draw a card. Like as long as we can stay ahead on advantage here, that's gonna be pretty big for us. Oh, it's Eurosa. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Like the spring leaf drum and like the random Thraven expector value. That makes so much more sense. Got you. Got you. Okay. 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 Got you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. You play just Urza here? I feel terrible. All right. Whatever. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, well, I'm looking, I'm looking to kill that whenever I can. So, I'm looking to kill that whenever I can. I mean, that's pretty good. Ephemerate, oh my god, that's deep. That's deep tech, man. Ephemerate? Jesus. Ephemerate is deep tech, man. Jesus Christ, what is this deck? Like, I'm straight up just playing Popper right now. That's that's deep tech right there. Okay. Looking for a counter spell. Alright, yeah, don't have it. Love it. Um, and at this point, I mean, like, Crab's, Crab's gonna go to Jesus. Crab's going to Jesus. Oh my god, there's the arrow. Oh god, too late. Yeah, the Ashiok's too late. Oh, that's not good. Probably put like Metallic Rebuke on top. That's not correct. Second language, I've heard the bees knees a lot and, and know what it means out of context. Outside of context, what do you what do you say it? What is the bees knees? So, I don't know where the term came from. I, I just know that when you say something is the bee's knees, it's like, it's perfect. It's A-OK. -okay. It's good. Um, I, I wouldn't call it like, when something is a bee's knees, I wouldn't call it like, oh, amazing, fantastic, or something like that. But it's just right. Oh, so it keeps the Uro? Is that is that what the... Oh, no, he recast it. Um, he recast it. I was like... It's like it doesn't re-keep, it doesn't keep the arrow. Alright, man. Alright, you're going to Jesus. Goodbye. Alright, so we're gonna all all he has is ephemerate. All our opponent has is ephemerate, so we'll see what we can do from here. We'll draw three cards. All our opponent has is ephemerate. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god, what a top deck. That is so good against the team of 6-6s. Six -sixes. Oh, that is so hot against the team of 6-6s. Six -sixes. That is so hot. Ooh, 
That is nice. That is nice. That is hot. Okay. Okay. Main deck and Searing Bridge. That is, that is a nice top deck right there. That, that is a card, by the way, that it's straight up going into the sideboard. Back into the sideboard where it belonged in the next game. But that is hot. All right. So I guess Crypt... I mean, they probably have one more Cryptic Command. They have two in here. Um, and I guess Mystic Sanctuary does return it. Um, so that is an option. But we do have collect. Oh, they don't have another one. Okay, I was gonna say that that would have been one way to do it, and then they ephemerate the Uro and kind of go from there. But no, we're 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 good. We're gooch. We're gooch. They don't want to tap out. <laughs> Guess what? Uh, did I catch a mill stream? God bless. Yeah, man. Love to have you. Love to have you on board here. Uh, what are they gonna play? Like another Uro? Like what is this? What is this? Oh, are they they? Okay, they're just gonna. Okay. That makes sense. Um, Bee's Knees is an American expression meaning something outstanding. In the UK, we have another phrase, the dog's bullocks. <laughs> what are you UK peeps up to? What are y'all UK peeps up to? What is this nonsense? What am I listening to right now? The dog's bullocks. Just doesn't, it just doesn't ring the same. I don't know. It doesn't have the same feel to it. Not to me, anyway. It doesn't feel like... It, it doesn't have the same feel to me. Okay, so let's get... Let's see if I can get... Um, see if I can take a peek at their hand here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, they're not going to... No, it's not going to be enough. Let's let's take a peek at their hand. Um, whatever they'll probably cast the ephemerate, probably for value here. Maybe just yeah, I'll just yeah they'll ephemerate that. That's fine. Okay. Just like rebounce everything for value. That's fine. Somebody come get her. All right, misty it is, misty it is, my dude. Misty it is, my dude. Misty it is, my dude. Yeah, there goes his cryptic command. So one cryptic, two cryptic, three cryptic. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> Yo, Dre. <laughs> I thought you were. I, I thought. I didn't think anyone caught that, man. We're out here for the meat. Some money come gainer. God damn. What a classic, man. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Like, we have, you know, the older generation got people like Elvis. You know, we got people, we got like the Jackson 5, like we, we got some classics out here. But when we're older, we're just going to have like, yo man, like, uh, <laughs> yo, our generation straight up is going to be like, somebody come get her. Like just screaming it to the rooftops at 60 years old, like just screaming it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, ephemerate something. Like, all four of his cryptics are gone. All of this dude's cryptics are gone. Like, what is his... What is this dude's method right now? What is this dude's method of winning right now? Bobble. All right. Bobble. The Bobster. The Bobster. What do you got? The Bobster. According to Google, a popular folk etymology has the phrase referring to the world's champion dancer, B. Jackson. Ooh. Really? Ooh. Yo, that's... Yo, Johan. There you go. Let me know if that's... Yo, is that actually true? I'm about to tell that to my girlfriend and be like, ho, 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 guess what? Guess what, Celeste? Like, do you know what my chat said? We... My chat is a chat full of intellectuals. High, high-tier intellectuals. Let me tell you what I learned today. Um, oh, did we? Oh, we did lose game one against these clowns. Oh my god, I completely forgot we lost game one against these clowns. I was so happy about that one. Just for the rhyme, just for the rhyme, no reason. 
just for the rhyme, no reason. But yeah, I'm potentially looking into. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't I don't know what Patreon stream I want to uh, like Patreon article I want to do next week. Uh, we're gonna. Mm, this hand ain't it. This doesn't really do anything. Uh, this hand's much better. This hand's much better. Uh, yeah, we'll drop the trap. This hand's much better. Sure. God, imagine just like casting an Earl off this Ashiok. Imagine casting an Earl off this Ashiok. Like that's the dream. Like Ashiok is literally a spicy include for these control decks. Like no word of a lie. It's literally a spicy include for these control decks. Like just being able to like steal their Earl or like, I don't know, whatever. There's, Th there's Thraben Inspector is more than enough. Just being able to steal some type of value more than enough. Okay, so what is that like? Snack? Is that going to be a snack? I feel like that's snack. The singular bee's knees is attested to the late 18th century, meaning something small or insignificant in the phrase "big as a bee's knees." So have we? Has modern day Englishmen misusing it? Splash yawk and vintage cube windmill slam it no matter what. Yo, but okay, yo, Ashiok is like tier negative five if there was a tier higher than tier zero in cube ashiok nightmare weaver is like insane in draft limited cube like ashiok nightmare weaver is stupid good if you play a cube with ashiok nightmare weaver and you can support it and you're even remotely a control deck stupid good stupid good take that from me oh my god the cat's pajamas. Also, as weak as a bee's knees is attested to Ireland, it's possible that the bee's knees is a deliberate inversion of the meaning, so it's not attested. Ooh. Ooh, so it's like the Americans just, like, really messing with those in the UK? No, no, no. It's it's very helpful. I, I'm... Okay. First of all, if you know me, I am all about the ulterior subjects here. I'm pretty sure I'm all about these definitions. Because, look, no one else was going to look them up. Johan, you're doing all of us a favor right now. You're genuinely doing all of us a favor right now. Oh, I'm out of water. All right, guess I'll get water after. No worries. You're doing all of us a favor right now. No worries. All right, man. What is that? Like force negation? I mean, there goes my counter spell for Ashiok. Like, probably have like what? Mystical dispute up now? Or I don't know. I think we get it out there like i think if if one of our ultimate goals is to resolve this visions of beyond then whatever like we know that you know we've said it before it's all about like their dense their ability to get a counter spell is a lot oh no 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 opponent come on come on no yes yes creatures <laughs> I love it because Emery is actually good because it allows us to cast our in our mesmeric orbs. Oh my god. No, 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 no opponent. Opponent, that's not good. No, 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 no. Come on. You cannot let this card resolve. If you wanted something cool to say to your girlfriend about language, you know I before E except after E. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I know I before E except after C. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you on that one. Except when your feisty neighbor Keith rides eight beige slaves. <laughs> Except when your feisty neighbor Keith rides eight beige slaves. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yo, Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Hey, look, 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 at these, look at these mans. Look at these mans right now. Look at these mans. Look at these mans. I'm like, yo. Watching with the uh, Johan doing God's work, man. So I can put 13, 14, 15, put one more in there. I, I have to kill this. Emery's how much? Three? I lose a lot, though. 
just trying to get Emery out. I lose a lot trying to get Emery out. I don't know. That's tough. That's it's a tough spot. I don't know. We'll do this. It's a tough spot. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Ice Fang Kawaddles. That's a card to steal right there. Oh, this is actually this is actually a big problem on my end because I should actually be playing. Take this in. Take this in, guys. Make sure you're playing Snowlands because I don't have any Snowlands to make sure this Ice Fang Kawaddle draws a card. Um, I don't have any Snowlands for that. I before E except after C is, 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 is speaking as someone who had... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was a, it was a, it's a bad rule. It's a I don't know if it's statistically wrong. I don't know if it's like the majority of words don't follow that rule. Uh with that case, but like it's a bad rule. <laughs> There's so many exceptions. <laughs> There's so many exceptions. It's it's a bad rule. It's a bad 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 rule. See how they swing. Yeah, I bet. sucks all right uh all right goes down to two not bad not bad not a problem we're gaining a lot of life we're gaining oh no oh no this is stupid at this point oh no oh no opponent oh no not again not again so we're going to get to mill this one under there. Uh, one, two, that's... Oh, fuck, okay, so I'm going to... I was going to say, I thought the conditional part was death touch. Bro, Ice Fan Quattle draws a card regardless. You need Snow Prince for death touch. Ooh, it draws a card regardless? I think I'm still going to plus on Ashiok, though. I need them to keep swinging into this. I need them to keep swinging into this. Um... Let me think here. So I'm going to mill them for 27 here. That brings them to 32 cards. Um, so we'll hit the green source, I think, because they don't have a lot of fixing right now. It doesn't even matter, actually. Just hit the white source, I guess. I don't know. If we draw the nuts and a third and a third archive trap, then we mi I might as well just grab like double blue, double blue, uh, like blue here. I might as well just grab blue. If we just draw the nuts and I get like another archive trap, oh, it doesn't even matter actually. No, because I'm not gonna be able to cast this anyway. Yeah, we'll do this. Let's get the counter spell off on this maybe if they have it. All right, that's not bad. All right, man. Just draw in the damage. Just draw in the damage. Perfect. Yeah, the you know it's just just gonna be about milling, really. Just draw in the damage. Okay, cards are pretty bad right now. W would you visions to beta counter? Yes. I visions to bait the counter because I care more about the mill right now, especially just because they're showing us that they don't really have counter magic. Like, they are desperately trying to kill Ashiok right now. 
they're desperately trying to kill Ashiok right now. That means I can, like, generally, I should be able to race them. I generally should be able to race them on the mill here. I, I mean that, like, soup, like, general, general, I don't know. Okay, so they have the ability to clue. Uh, then there's well speaking from experience, the language of disaster. Uh, okay. Okay, so they're going to get their bobble, sure. Sure, they cast their bobble. They get their bobble value. Swing in, yep. Swing in. Yeah. Kill my Ashiok. Russian has a different alphabet to how it sounds? What do you mean? What does that mean? What? What are you doing? Why are you playing that? Why the hell would you do that? You put cryptic on top of your library. Why would you do this? What? Okay, so, okay, I get, no, 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 you can cast it. Sorry, the artifacts tab. Okay, so he does have, he does have cryptic mana. Sorry, I'm, I'm mistaken here. He does have cryptic mana, sorry. Because of this clue. I was like, what? Um, I don't know. I think we might have lost this. Like, we drew too many lands here. We're about to take so much damage here. Three, four, five, six, twelve damage. They're going to probably, like, cryptic counterbounce the Sanctuary and just repeat the lock. Then I really have nothing. I don't know. I need a, like, double spell. I need a double spell. That's, like, the only way I win this. I, I don't know how else I win this, but, like, yeah, double, double spelling is the only way I win this right now. They have double cryptic in hand. <sighs> they can cast double cryptic. That's so frustrating. You know the Cyrillic alphabet? Like... I don't oh okay yeah okay so i recognize that that's russian yeah okay i didn't know it was called the cyrillic alphabet um i didn't know that that's what it was called um so they still have cryptic mana up for themselves here no regular verb the spelling is according to pronunciation there is a reason that token based the elvish language on finnish Ooh. the spelling is according to its pronunciation Ooh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay, so we're about to take a crap ton of damage, yeah. This is so painful. Our opponent honestly just had the nuts. I don't know. I managed to get there. I love this academic stream. Yo, I gotta change my category to education, man. I gotta change my category category to education. Okay, so now they only have one cryptic up? Am I mistaken? Oh no, they have multiple. Sorry, these keep tapping. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Like it's not it's not one. They have multiple cryptics up. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't win here. Like this is a loss. I I can't I can't beat this. I can't beat this. There's yeah, there's nothing I can do that beats this. Um All right, GG. GG, man, you got you got your cryptic commands. You're good. You're good. Man, the the got to fight for the three two, man. The winning games, just some just some bad beats, man. We played it right. I think we played it right. We played it right. We we resolve what we need to resolve. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should have gone for getting out like the uh, no nah, i don't think so we would have been lower in life too i don't know we would have been lower in life too it's a weird place weird place to be weird place to be ashiok did what it was supposed to do though came down ashiok did exactly what it's supposed to do so let's see what we can get out of this last game let's see what i what we can get out of this last game wow sick shuffler keep
on our what's your opinion on our simic overlords what does that mean like how what do i think about saltai we've gone over the pronunciation of uro and the lore of star wars it's proper educate it's <laughs> i i honestly just got to run an education podcast you're right okay this is not a matchup we're ready to handle at all freaking delver all right i think we're about to lose what do you mean like how i feel about uro or what do you mean Oh, it's like some rogues human stuff. What is this? It's like, okay, all the good cards recently being Simic. Oh, I mean, okay. I think, I think this is, okay, ultimately, this is my problem with it. Okay, so people have been saying that Simic is one of the worst, Simic was the worst constructed color pairing forever. Like the worst constructed color pairing. Boros arguably was amazing because it was really just red, red splash white for aggro. So it was just like insane that way. Um, hold on. I think surgical is not really going to take us the mile here. Um, and so they, they finally, in, in my opinion, they finally fixed, um, that's rough. Yeah. They finally fixed Simic. They finally gave it the power level it deserves. And then people got upset. And honestly, they made it too. They made it very powerful, but to be fair, in a lot of ways, they didn't intend for it to be that powerful. Like, they said that Uro was a design mistake. They didn't even think Uro would be, like, as powerful as it was. Like, the powerful Simic cards were supposed to be Hydro Crisis. Um, that card that it's, like, blue-green and you draw a card and put a land into play. And then Uro was supposed to be kind of, like, the top end of all of that craziness. Um, so, arguably... Like, there wasn't much going on anyway. Um. Integral part of modern. Jeskai control, I mean, Jeskai control still has a place, I guess. But now it's just, yeah, I guess, like, I don't know. It's really just four color control. Like, it's not just Jeskai. Like, Arkham's Astrolabe really just exacerbated the fact that like yo you just like you can do whatever the hell you want man like you can honestly do whatever the hell you want Force of negation and into the story. What the shit am I playing right now? Is this, this is Grixis control? Is like Grixis Delver? This is like someone trying to make Grixis Delver work, and the funny thing is, is it's actually gonna work against us, but it wouldn't work against like anyone else. Like this deck just loses to burn, right? Like anything aggressive. This deck loses to Titan like all the way. This deck like gets mauled by Titan. Oh my god. What is this egregious crap? Corey Burkhart, where you at? <laughs> if you think Uro isn't going to be um, insane, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be designing cards. Oh, no, I think... Yo, okay, this is my thing, though. Oko. Oko. I don't know. Oko should have been thought through a little bit more. Fair. Fair. But, um, Ogo should have been thought through a little bit more, but also, um, they're going to, oh, they're going to force this, but Uro, I don't think, I don't think Uro is necessarily a problem. I think a lot of people hate Uro, but like, it's, it's a value engine and a all, and it's technically a win con, but a lot of the times it's used as a value engine, like. I don't know, man. Like, Uro's so easily hated out, whereas Oko wasn't. Like, Oko isn't hated out easily at all.
this that seems bad we'll stay reactive like this i think um people as like humans are really bad at understanding how finely tuned things should be unless they take enough i feel like uro is good because there are lots of other great cards and decks that yeah like i think i don't know like uro's not warping the meta that's how i see things like people like hate like people like ban uro ban uro i'm like ew man relax like just play a better deck <laughs> look i'm sorry i just come on like we don't need a ban uro like that's not it's not a thing like you don't need to do that not at all so many people called for it but it's like the minute graveyards become like slightly better you'll see the return of rest in peace and earl's like done like earl's like over um i think i like drown underneath like earl's done uh now basic island that's a card that needs a <laughs> what is this what do you mean look at them they're gonna flash in some bs right now look at them look at them look at them Uro and Crocs are Titans and have the same ETB charge triggers as other Titans. Simic is just a good place right now. Give sad a chance. We might see cards with guilds um, or I wish. Nobody's playing Graveyard Hate precisely because of Uro. Why? What do you like? Why would you say precisely because of Uro they're not playing it? Why would you say that? Cheetah trouble like What? Like, what do you mean, like, precisely because of Uro, they're not playing it? Black, white, control were nonsense. Oof. Orzov and, honestly, like, Orzov and, um, Orzov and, Orzov needs an identity in modern. Like, Orzov does not have an identity in modern. Like, it, it really doesn't. Like, Orzov does not have an identity in modern. Oh, because they're playing Earl. <laughs> it's fair, fair point. Um, well, I'm pretty sure I just jam Plague Engineer here. Yeah, and I and I think that's yeah, that's definitely one of the things like helping um helping it print him into modern, play dead man oh god, him to Turok. I don't know man, him to Turok, uh ooh, I don't know. I don't know how well I can agree with that. Him to Turok is problematic. That is a problematic card if I ever saw one. I'm gonna be one hundo with y'all. That is a problematic card. That is a problematic magic card. Okay. I was like, oh man, please don't, please don't. Source VP control is pretty dead so hard. Yeah. Um, spell snare. Ooh, surgical is actually a problem. I don't care about spell snare, but surgical is dumb. I don't want to play against that. Surgical in archive trap? No siree. All right, what did we say earlier? We're going to attack with Hedron Crab. Let's do it. We're attacking with Hedron Crab, everyone. Gotta love the two dead spell snares in our opponent's hand. Said him wasn't legal and popper. Oh, I'm I, look, look, man. I am happy him's not legal and popper. Oh my, 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 lordy lord. Like that is so bad for popper. <laughs> so bad for popper. I don't know why I didn't attack there. I apologize. Uh, so I'll play this. Draw the counter spells. Gerard's Verdict. Nope. Are they going to let this resolve? You can fetch. Yeah, there you go. Counter it, opponent, because you can't let this resolve. We live for long. Wasn't sure when you were starting tonight. Oh, hey, Dylan, what's up? Um, Yeah, like we've been we've been live for about like uh, about an hour and a half. 
Um, so this is this is a uh, game two of of our final round. Lighting giving off super villain vibes. Definitely super villain vibes. Back in Ravnica standard Ghost Council plus Yose the Morning Star. Oh my god, ew! Ghost Council was such a cool card. I remember when I first like came across the card. Ghost Council is like such a cool card, honestly. Uh, isn't that a mistake? Like attacking for a thing? Isn't that a mistake? Oh wow, GG, GG. Give up, Bono. You're empty-handed. Yeah, who knew? Ancestral Recall, good card. Ancestral Recall, good card. Wow, not not a good card when you're when you got doo doo hands like this. All right, just attack. All right, opponent, let's play this game. With Alt Wing Con. Uro's my fave, but I think you like Croxa? Croxa's cool. I've always wanted to play three lands. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what these. Uh, it's medium. It's medium. Oh god, yeah, three lands. I mean, I honestly like. I, I was I was gonna be mad about three lands, but then we have two Hedron crabs out, so I can't be I can't be too upset. We, we legit had just have Hedron crabs out, so I can't be too upset. Yeah, I like that time. I didn't really react. React I was like, all right, look, you know what? They're empty handed. Lands are actually not bad because we have the double Hedron crab, but like that was doo doo. That was like straight utter doo doo. Like, that was so bad. That was so annoying. Hey, Jamie Somerville, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, Jamie, I hope you'll join me for all my future Monday streams. Because, uh, you know, honestly, for the foreseeable future, like, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot more, a lot less pre-recorded stuff. Because the streaming is just, it's so much easier, like, on me. Like, I can do multiple streams. Like, every, it's just so much more relaxed. I get to engage with you guys as well. Um, so... A lot better for me in general. Like I'm gonna be trying to do this a lot more, but I, I I will be doing YouTube content. I think I should have to state that I will be continuing to do YouTube content. Let's uh, let's see what they reveal. Coligan's command. Yeah, goodbye. You're not getting that. You're not getting that. Kill against command. <laughs> all right, all right. No threats. Lands float to the top in my experience. <laughs> Lands are like hot air. They float to the top. Lands are like hot air. They float. They be floating. They be floating. All right, man. Three drops aren't that great on the on the draw, but we'll make it work. Um. Okay, sorry everyone. Give me one second while I. Uh, while I remember this, sorry, give me one second here. So we played Yorian Bant Control. We uh, did we mulligan? Yeah, we mulligan aggressively. Oh my god, yo, okay, Kumbak, have you been keep tra keeping track of the games? Kumbak, have you been keeping track of the games at all? That's fine. For how to change away Stiff Kakuna. <laughs> there you go. Stiff Kakuna. Um... As long as we have three or more, eh? Okay. Okay. Well, in that case. I think we just get our value off of this now and force him to potentially call against command if he doesn't have it. So we're just going to name human. 
right? Just get that out of the way. Um, stiff Kakuna. <laughs> God damn, man. They found their third land for their for the K command. Um, all right, well, I mean, K command is going to be an end step flex, so let's see what we can do here. I mean, that's pretty sweet, actually, just being able to fatal push that. All right, uh, all right, let's see what we can get out of it. Let's do this. Sure. Okay. Probably just a counter spell here. Uh, oh, that's even better. Okay, so that's gonna instantly die. That's actually even better. Okay, what are you gonna grab with that? Spell Pierce? Okay, well, this dude's about to get wrecked. Mystical Dispute. This dude's about to get wrecked. Goodbye, you suck. Sorry, opponent, you suck at this game. Oh, oh no, oh no, you lost your Stabcaster Mage and you just got blown out. This is what we call a blowout, everyone. Okay, so Yorian Bank Control. So game one, lull for loss, uh, draw. Game two, um, seven win play. Game three, it was seven loss draw. Perfect. So, I mean, our opponent just... one four Dream is still alive? Nah, nah. We're 2-2. Two, two. We're 2-2. Two, two. We're 2-2. Two, two. Shaf out here murking people? Oh, my God. Plague Engineer is sick. I mean, they're about to blow us out, to be fair. Like, what they're going to do is they're going to kill plague engineer force us to discard a card then they're gonna attack with ventress's gargoyle because we have exactly seven in our yard like to be fair we blew them out but they're about to blow us out of the water here yeah uh they returned a card yeah so they're gonna kill ashiok here one four gang still regardless one four gang to the death okay all right um okay so this yeah this should be enough okay so we're gonna this gives us exactly 20, so we're going to do this. Always yield. Then we kill this. Yep, that gives us 20. Then we draw three. Um, we draw three again. Uh, GG. Okay, GG. <laughs> you are you and where's Shaf at? <laughs> Who are you and where's Shaf at? Oh my god. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so we, this is game five. Did we lose one? Yeah, we lost the first one. Don't tell anyone, but the opponent has crabs. <laughs> so they lightning bolted one, sure. Also the deck as you described, yo, surgical. Hmm. That's not the time to cast Surgical. You gotta do it on our draw, opponent. That's not the time to cast Surgical. Not at all. Not at all. Do this, punish them for it. Let's go. What's nice about this uh, cling to dust here is we're going to be able to turn off this Vantress's gargoyle with it. Ideally, anyway. 
we are tapping a lot of lands for it so i don't i don't know it doesn't really make a lot of sense but we are going to be able to at some point okay always yield they only got two cards in hand probably some amount of counters or whatever there goes our eliminate cobra is pretty sweet not gonna lie cobra is pretty sweet uh so let's look at their hand give me your hand Mm. two modes so let's gain some life and look at their hand might as well right like the land the land is free here just because we have a borrow it doesn't really matter Ooh, ooh. Perfect, last land. Make it happen, make it happen, opponent, come on. I don't know, opponent, what are you going to cast? Okay, lightning bolt. That's fine. Uh, they can lightning bolt our crab. I don't. I don't really care. Uh, this game's over, in my opinion. Fine. It's perfectly fine. So they're, they're tapping out lands. That's what I care about. Let's see if I can get like one more piece of value off of this. Yes, I do. So let's do this. Crypt incursion. That should be game. That should be game. We're at 43. Orb is GG, man. So game one, we seven loss uh, draw. Game two was seven win play. Game three was seven win draw. All right. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, do that now. We want them to tap out. Orbs go burr. Or orbs go burr. Orbs go burr. I'm sorry. I, I just don't see how they're winning. Like, I, I don't I don't understand how our opponent's going to win the game right now. I just, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. This isn't a clock. I beat this clock. I don't, I don't understand what our opponent thinks they're going to do right now. Like, I, I beat this clock all day. Like, opponent, just concede. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. I feel so bad for them. Like, they don't have a threat. Like, I feel so bad for them. Like, like, you suck, man. Like, I literally, like, this whole league was about beating creature decks. And we did lose the one, technically, but... <laughs> ah, there you go there you go there you go there it is there it is there's the three two there's the three two all right all right all right we're gooch we're gooch hop back into here and we'll switch over okay all right so thank you for everyone joining me in stream got another quick demir mill game out there um look out for um Look out for the double articles this week. I'm going to talk to be talking to Enrico. He's going to post a very interesting, for those of you who don't know, a four-color witch mob brew, something that Dre can speak to, and I'm super excited for it. He's going to get that primer out. We're going to get that. And then also to you non-patrons out there, we're going to be doing a Saltai Mill sideboarding guide. Obviously, the patrons have access to that. Check that all out on the grindstone. I will not be streaming this Sunday, so look out. The next stream you will catch me on is literally next Monday, same time. Next Monday, same time. I don't know what I'll be doing. It's whatever I'm feeling, but it will be mill. Um, but that's what we will be doing. Everyone stay safe. Stay indoors. Or if you're allowed to go outside, again, just stay safe. Um, we're so close. We're almost, we're a good portion of our way out of this. Get something good to eat tonight. I'm going to go grab some dinner myself. Remember that even the impossible is possible. And as we ponder that thought, thank you, Johan. I hope you'll join me next week on Monday or whenever it is as we take a glimpse into the unthinkable.